Good morning. I'm currently on my way to go get Bradley and we are heading to Sean's garages. Basically, we were gonna meet up uh, at like a park or something and like go for a walk and talk and shit, but it's raining. So we're gonna head to Sean's garage and I really wanna show them both the car and I've got, I've got a surprise for both of them. So yeah, I will be with Brad in about 10 minutes. <coughs> in about 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. It is very contradicting because it is not. It is not sunny. Although I am pulsing right now. I don't know about you. Pulsating. <laughs> what's this? What's this? Someone's, been kicking this one Someone's had a not a good night. Yeah. Lucky they put it in a container. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least they've done that. How sick is this thing, man? Oh, your beauty. We can't. We can't go low and have mood flukes. Well, we've got some time. Should we inspect the uh, rust repair? I kind of want to, but I don't. Also <laughs> at the same time. I'm kind of scared. Someone painted it with like a brush. Yeah, I don't know what that is really. Yeah, it's painted with a brush. <laughs> I'm trying to get really articulate with it. I think you know, you know that uh, car from the In Between Us Two. I think we should do that. Of like mysterious girl on the front bonnet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's in Nissan Sunny as well. Who do you think it's covered by? It is actually covered by the AA as well. Wow. Nice. Uh, there he is. Yeah. It is alive. What do you think? It's, it's blue. Let me open the garage for a second. So what one's the one that you're taking over? Hmm? What one's the one you're taking over? Uh, well, I'm not the third one over, but oh, nice. the other blue one. I've got to wait. Yeah. Ooh. But for now, this will do, and I'm just going to run some electricity directly from my platform. Good idea. Good idea. Not that one. Big leaf. Here it is. Oh, it's bigger in here than I thought it was. It's decent, isn't it? Yeah, you look at the doors, you've been, there's nothing to it. You get back, it's like, oh, yeah, it's like That's toasty as well. Ooh, that looks. Fucking hell, weapons it? Oh, that? Yeah. That was me running out of talent in the snow. Look at that. Wow. Well, you yeah. really did. Where did yeah, that? I was on my way to work and, I, and my boss was getting proper shitty with me and I was just like, oh, whatever, I'll try and get into work. I had the skyline at the time. Yeah. And I come down the hill, round the bend, and the back end just went, no, I'm going this way. He said, great. Ooh. Yeah, these are his new alloys for the MX5. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I know the company that make these, they're called. Um, Spare or something? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the um, Sylvia? It's currently in South End. Why? Because it's getting some welding done. Oh. But I got, I'm in a deal with my mate because he's got plenty of power and light down at the minute. And yeah. I've got nothing here yet. He was like, well, roll up the BMW and you can weld your car up here and use a unit for free. I was like, sick. And I almost wish I didn't really. His battery is, you can see it from underneath the car. Really? Yeah, there's just chunks of metal missing underneath this thing. I'm like, great. Fantastic. I'm <laughs> I've oh, hey, Look at that, there's a turbo. There is a turbo. There's a big old turbo. There is a spooky. Is it your turbo? It's tucked away. It's just tucked away like that. We might this one off. Nanda. Tom, this is going on the sunny. It is, we're sticking it in that. <laughs> Surprise, there. everyone! <laughs> It doesn't look in too bad condition. Has it got much play in it? No. It's solid. What is it then? Uh, it was originally a kit you got from Mamba to go directly onto the RB25s. Right. And then we're selling it. I had it come with a car and I bought it along with a spare engine and whatever else. I just need to get off my ass and. Um, I was going to buy it. that size servo from Mamba for my SEAT. Oh, I thought it would be too big. Isn't that the TO4? Or is it smaller than that? I ended up with a TO5, yeah. is what I used. So. That's why Garrett is my next choice. Yeah. Right, it's time for Christmas presents. Yay! Right, close your eyes. Okay, you have to close your eyes. Turn, oh, turn around, yeah, turn around. They're gonna love it. Right. Open it. Bruh, we got some t shirts. There we go, Bodge Mods, Al. Bodge Mods t shirts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we. Did you get 
you get me an extra small? I got you a large. <laughs> I, got, I got us all a large though, because we're all large. Large gentlemen. Well, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, large gentlemen. There you go. So you're almost at home right on there. It's like we're meant to be. Yeah. It's funny that I'm nice. You're wearing yours now. No, 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 it's in the car. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's not that cool. It's, it's better than it has been. There you go. Cracking fit. Indeed. Look at that. Does that mean any time we work on a car we have to wear it? That looks wicked. No, you don't have to. It's just a cool t-shirt. Is it advertised? I like it. It's decent, isn't it? It's decent, isn't it? Cheers, man. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's just, it was like, yeah, I felt bad because you guys get stuck doing my car. So I thought, like, well, do you know what? Yeah, get a t-shirt. Until we actually make a start in the room. <laughs> yeah. I'll just sit around like, not like talking <laughs> things it needs doing, but no, it's one that makes life come to us. My priority. And then I go and sell it without warning any of you. We preempt it. I'm going to order these parts just so we know. <laughs> <laughs> I think next time, before we start work, we should probably look at what's going to fucking break. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's why I brought this along today. <laughs> I was like, I should drive my S40. I was like, no, nah, I really need to bring this along just in case. When I left work on the I was like, oh, I'll make sure it's about the angle grinder because Tom's going to break something. I'm going to need the angle grinder. I break lots of stuff. Yeah. Road is an expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one that's stupid enough to buy him. <laughs> I'm an expert. So no one else is. <laughs> got, no, I don't give anyone the opportunity. Yeah. No one can tell so you. Have you found expert. some five studs wheels yet? I yeah, <laughs> I couldn't believe that. We're still not sure because we haven't taken them off. Have you seen the, the hammer right as well? Oh, the hammer right paint. Have a look. The wheel off. Well, no, there's um, silver. Hammer right silver. <clears throat> On top of the rust. Feels solid. It's repairable, but I don't know why they put the hammer right there. Is that open? Yeah. Yeah, we got one up. Same on the other what side. What are you bringing on the front side of the seal? Real options, alright, to be honest. That side's got a few patches. Um, yeah. You can replace these ones. Yeah. There's no hole. Yeah. That does. Surface at the minute, but a couple pinholes in that. Oh, it's not that bad, actually, to be fair, until I put it on a ramp. <laughs> yeah, until we... Take the window up. Yeah, that, that was my doing. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it just gets better and better, really. Well, hopefully it leaks so much that it seals itself. <laughs> yeah. You can't move that window. Why? This it just won't move. Yeah, this leaks more than... It is. We, do, we have had just a KFC as well. <laughs> it's um, got... KFC the... old man's. We've got to cut a hubcap off. I want to see what studs this car. Oh, right, let's fucking let's do it. So that's the one that I lost at your place originally, one of those. Oh, right. Well, I bought those. another one. Yeah, because I had a green one. And then I bought ah. a bright orange one. Oh, God, it gets brighter. Oh, yeah. And then it's I think so. Yeah, that's good. What's that? It's Henry. Ah. Wow. I'm like. Where do I put it on there? That's pretty sick. Voila. And voila. So what, when you convert into a paint booth, makes your paint booth, is it going to be like... Lots of stuff in there now. Huh? I've just fucking put the bags everywhere. Bags everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably bags yeah. or recycle bags. Just, and just make like... Well, that's why I want to put the lights down the side as well. The lights thing is you need ventilation though, so... Just leave you them in the garage open, crack. I might just stick one of those big fans in and just... Or just leave the door open and then make just a wooden frame thing and then put something in that. And then you can bag that up. Mum, I can't really put it like this. Go on, Thomas. The yes, you do the honours. Same thing. Extract. Clean it. No, they're definitely five stars. God's sake. Why would they do that though? It just doesn't make sense. Leave them off. I think it's better. It makes it look more rich. <laughs> I just don't get it. Why would you put, oh, I've got a five stud hubcap. I'm gonna put on four stud cars to confuse everyone. God's sake. Sending us wheels with five studs. Tom, I'm sure. Do you know how hard it was to find those wheels I originally found? It took me ages. Yeah, I much prefer like a smaller wheel and then big tires. But Chonky. With this, when you're, because you're lowering this, I wouldn't. Oh, I think about that 30. 30? Yeah, I'd stick 16 with that. Yeah. You need a small tire. Low profile. 16's with a 195-45 tire. Which one's? 
the black ones? Uh, they are 18 by 8. You want to put one in front just to see how much it fills the arch. So this is an 18. That's big. That's going to be like the size of a tire. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to go that much, mate. You don't want to go huge. Hell no. Yeah, I'd say 15 or 16. 16 inch tire with a 11545. Yeah. Alright, and that'd be nice. You go with like an EJ or something like that. You can get it to sit on there comfortably with well, some offset. The only good thing is you don't need a um, massive and fix tire. Well, it's, it's funny you should say, really, because I've actually got a surprise for both of you. No. I got agent. a company that reached out to me and noticed that I'd bought this car and they like the guy basically who runs it said he owned one years ago and he absolutely loved the thing and he owns a specialist alloy, alloy wheel company so he's designing us our own three-piece alloys oh three piece yeah wow i'm joking obviously <laughs> 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 i thought you was going to go on about someone reached out and they wanted to put an engine in it no, someone, about engine. someone reached out and gave me a sticker yeah oh also yeah the sticker <laughs> It's sick though, I love it. Look at that. His, his little girl designed that. That's pretty cool. It's sick, isn't it? Just gotta work out where he's gonna put it to cover some rust up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like on, on, on the sill, on the sill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah once we tint the rear windows, I'll stick it on top. How big of a spoiler are you gonna have? Because you know, you've gotta keep that rear wheel track on. I'm actually gonna make sure it's fully race spec, so I'm gonna put the, the spoiler on top of the roof. Oh, okay, good. Set that down for you. 14 degrees just because we're running 95 basic. Um, I don't know if you can read Japanese. Will you make it run shit though? No. Right, so 8 degrees standard. 8 degrees. And then I'll stick it at 14 and see what happens. 8 degrees is just like some dirty shit. Yeah, exactly. Really, really rich. I reckon you should do what Brad said about the individual throttle bodies as well. Oh, so like sick. The TVs on this. Yeah. Love like they, I don't know if I'll keep it long enough. Huh? I don't know if I'll keep it long enough. The one problem is they're too expensive. Or no, better, you should do bike carbs. Could do. Bike carbs are sick. CBR 600 carbs. That's what my mate done on his Polo. He had a Mark II Polo with a um, the 1.6 Polo GTI engine in it, and then he put carbs on it. And he done like head work as well to it. And it was savagely quick. So the car only weighs like about. 800 kilos oh, and it had about 150 horsepower like everywhere it went it spun its wheels if i feel like they're going into this properly and i do decide to keep it it will probably go for something stupid because i keep seeing ls v8s going up yeah. i've always wanted a v8 and i think one of this would be ridiculous especially over in the uk when you don't really see them no everyone either does the one uz or well, that's what's in that ls 400 isn't it the one uz that's good what i really want one of them. i like them what V8 do they use for these? Uh, Probably a small one. Yeah. LS1. Uh, 5.3, something like that, or even 5.7. Jesus. We've got a lot of things unplugged in this. Oh well. I've got a lot of blank door. Uh, that is for the um, charcoal canister that used to sit there, that is no longer present. How much weight do you reckon you can get out of it? Well, other than in the engine bay and a bit of interior. Yeah, like that. Yeah. 950 kilos to start with. Well, is that how much it weighs at the minute? It probably weighs a bit less than that due to rust. I, I, miss, I miss mine. Hell, yeah. yeah. Just look at the fucking engine, it's such a sick engine. I think the heaviest part of these is probably the engine, because they're yeah, not light at all. But it's a good thing because it keeps the weight even. They're really balanced. I wouldn't say no to um, putting up a cave. Yeah. They're too tall of an engine though, aren't they? You can make I mean, it fit, you just change, you get a custom tongue. That'd be sick. That's what I want. There's um, a channel when they put it in a Subaru STI. Have you seen that? No. Yeah, the turbo one. And boost the boys? Yeah, boost the boys. But they had to cut the subframe away and make a new one. And then put a like, custom made steering rack and all sorts because it sits so low compared to the boxer engine. Yeah. Oh, this is how, you know, your pot will screw up. Yeah. So you have to bridge two things. Have you ever seen that? I have to bridge the two things and then adjust the throttle. Is it? There, so that, you know where yours used to like, the, no, it used to go with. Yeah. yeah, so you put one, I think, into one of these pins and the other one there, um, and then run the engine and you'll see that it will just really pull in the idle, and then you can adjust it on the screw so you just reset the. This looked like an automatic idle. Yeah. This idle is really nice, though.
I think after a certain amount of time, I won't need to go to college for being a mechanic. Oh, you don't need to do it for us. Exactly, yeah. I've never done any mechanical courses. And I know I have to rank for one. Yeah, I I think for me it's a confidence thing, really. I love my cars too much to fuck them up, even though I do anyway. Oh, I love it. That's why your first car on tour is probably cheap and shit. That's, that's mine, why I mine buy a C. It's a cheap and shit. And if I break it, that's why I know one. It's really cheap. And if I do it right, then it's going to win because I save me over money. True. So if you buy a, a Nissan Silvia, I was going to say, or a Nissan Sunny, but that's shit as well. <laughs> if you buy a Silvia and then try and modify that, then you're going to be a bit scared because it's worth some money. It is. But this thing, how much you pay for it? 850 quid. Exactly, that's the same as my Silvia's. So you can. Yeah, but yours came with the turbo. Cut some things in it, weld some new stuff on, and if it don't go well, you just fly it nice and cheap. Yeah, right. but I would like to get it right first time. And we can. But you can use this to practice. So say you've got a job on your Nissan you want to do. There's only four left on the road. <laughs> if it was desirable, it'd be worth more than eight. It is desirable, road. Bradley. It's if just... you find someone willing to pay more than a thousand pounds, and I will. I don't know, if you've got a uh, clean your right up. Yeah. Someone probably will. They will. There's always one. What's the brake horsepower? 87. I think you should say it louder so it can. 87. From new. That was new. And it's 32 years old now, so probably like 50. So there you go. Oh. Can it make a wife out of a sir? Got a bit of paint on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, to be fair, considering how old it is, the paint isn't horrendous. It's not old. I've seen MX5 younger than this for shit to paint. How do you. Oh, is it that? Yeah. <laughs> All the eight valves that it's got. Oh, yeah. Whoa, look at that. So, we're going to sack the air filter off. <laughs> what me? Oh, oh should we right. see what your time is like? Yeah, okay. Oh, we've got it here. Possibly. Oh, yeah. So it's on five. They're rough. Oh, it's even up. The nose is like, but that's just. All carbon fiber, like it is so strong, it's unreal. The car now looks like I've got it somewhere from like Eastern Europe, yeah. like Lithuania or something. <laughs> yeah. So what do you what do you what do you think? What's what's your honest opinion? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Brad. Car, isn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you put the uh, after like a bigger engine in it, it will no longer be desirable. That's what I was thinking. And also with the coilovers and the wheels. Well, she wants to keep it like this. No, I don't know. Some, you keep it like this, but it, it will no longer be the one in four. Yeah, it won't long. Like it's not. It will not. No, <laughs> one of one. One of one. Yeah. Yeah. It will. No one else is going to have a car like this in the UK, except for three other people, and they're probably rusted away. And don't have a big engine and some massive wheels. On. I bet you'll find the rest of them. They're just sat in people's gardens, just probably. doing nothing wrong the way. And I'll go buy them. So. Does anyone want to say if you want to like and subscribe and shit? Or? I will let you say that bit, Tom. Yeah, you, you can say it, Brad. You no, say no, it. I'm going to zoom in on your it. face. No, no, come on. You can say it. You're not going to get very far, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just no. going to put it around you. I'm just going to put it around your face. I'm just going to zoom in on his face. I already am. Like and subscribe to see this kid a bit more. And this one. Your beard right. looks good. I'm, I'm retired yeah, now. Good. I don't work anymore. It's just getting... I'll just, I'll just watch. <laughs> yeah, that's what they think. Yeah, if you like it, like the idea of what we got, do like and subscribe. And yeah, we'll hopefully get this work done a bit sooner. Uh, the weather's obviously crap at the minute, but we've got the garage. Sean's been kind enough to let us use it, you know, when he's around. So yeah, we'll see you in the next one.